Hello and welcome to Infinity. We've been looking at the clone brush here and we're going to look now at sources. So, normally the source up here says current layer, in other words it copies from the current layer to the current layer, but it doesn't have to be that way. Let's have a look actually, first of all, at something we can do with this. So just using ordinarily like this, if I come over here I'll left square bracket to reduce the size of the brush a bit and I'll copy this person here so I'll hold down the alt key and click. I've got the crosshairs then I come over here and I can copy the person there. Problem with this is I'm also copying some of the other stuff around like a bit of the fencing there. And I'm even on the same layer I can actually use the undo brush which is underneath there and I can paint away things there. If I gotta be a bit careful here you might have to go back and undo the undo. But uh, that lets you do that, which is okay, it is it, it's a help. However there's a better way to do it which is to use another layer. So I shall just undo this. And what we do is in here we go to adding an extra pixel layer. So our clone bits are going to be on the layer above, but because you look down through them, it looks like it's all the same layer. So I'll go back to the clone brush and what we do here, the trick here is go to this one here where it says current layer. I change that to current layer and below. Now when I'm looking here, cloning onto this pixel layer, it's also taking things from whatever's below. And the reason it's current layer and below is, is because you might want to be picking up things that you've already cloned so you can see that. So what I'll do then is Alt click over here and I can paint them in here. There we go. And you've got these bits around the edge. You can use the undo brush but the better one generally is the erase brush. So I can use this to paint away things on the edge. I can even turn the bottom layer off so all I can see is my cloned area. So this is a bit clearer here about what I need to remove. I can then go around the edge of this. It's a bit hard. I can still soften this off a bit. Let's take that down a bit. And I can paint the edges. And take away everything I don't need. And there you go. Let's turn the bottom layer back on again. An advantage of this, by the way, is that if I hit the crop tool, sorry not the crop tool, the move tool, that's what I want, I can now move this around the place. I can make it bigger and smaller and I can even, because it's on a layer, hit Control J and do a copy of it. Just like that. So having things on a, an extra layer, cut the clones on a, a separate layer, is great for all sorts of reasons. You can delete it with a single keystroke much later on as well. So now we go to the last area which is a bit interesting as well. I'm going to do control zero to go back out again and that is um, to do the global sources. For this I'm going to go to view studio and go to sources here. And what I can do is I can put in other images into this here and clone from a completely different picture. So I've got one here and if I hit add global source there this picture now appears here. Now if I want to copy from here I have to double click this picture. So I double click this now I've got the crosshairs. So if I click on that tower in the distance come back to here and now, if I increase this here, click on the before here, this or this one before to the my source, and now I can paint in that tower. I've now put something from another image into this image. So there you go. That's quite impressive what you can do. This, by the way, is on another layer there. You may notice where I've painted that in. So I can go in and 
paint around that to tidy it up as well. So I can copy, I can erase from the same area with your undo brush. I can put in another layer and use current layer and below. And I can use the global sources here with a sources panel and copy from other images. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching.